Yes, please, you may be seated. Praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Dearly beloved. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here in the presence of God and in the sight of one another to witness the joining of this man and woman in Bunny Matrimony, which is an honorable estate and of divine origin and institution. It is sanctified and approved of in the Holy Scriptures and dignified and forever hallowed by the personal presence of our Lord Jesus Christ in Cana of Galilee, where he performed his first miracle. It speaks of the mystical union of Christ and his church. St. Paul, speaking of it, says, marriage is honorable among all men so we must conclude that it must not be regarded in a light manner but undertaken and entered into in all solemnity with wisdom and forethought reverently in the fear of god with the understanding that it was first ordained for the mutual help and companionship the one ought to have of the other into this holy bond these two persons are about to enter. We pray that the blessing of the Almighty, the author and initiator of marriage, will rest upon this union to be established this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. request the father of the bride to please stand up and bring beside his daughter and I want to ask today Somebody give him the mic. Let us hear the name so that we can be witnesses today. I do give the bride. Can you please take your daughter by the right hand and hand her over officially to the group? Can the groom step forward so that we can find somebody to hand over to? Come on, let's put our hands together for this vivacious, beautiful, wonderful bride. And the ever renewed father. Somebody shout hallelujah. I want the congregation to please stand up.
stand up. I want to thank you for your job well done. You may take your seats, please. Let's put our hands together for our renowned father in the Lord, Pastor Inenche. Let us pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the privileges of being in the body of Christ. We have come together to watch the miracle of your Lord and the power of your Holy Spirit's work in the lives of these two people. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory for the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives to bring us into a place of union with the Holy Spirit and union with one another. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name we pray. And let the congregation say, Amen. You may take your seats. Thank you. of vow, the groom, do you take Deborah, Paul and Nature, as your wife, your own flesh, to love her, even as friends love the church, to protect her, to care for her, the rest of your life? Yes, I do. Then take her back. Uh -huh. so you are the yes. I, I, Uloko Sam, Sam, Uloko Sam, Horton. According to the word of the Lord, leave my father, leave my father my mother, and my mother. I join myself, I join myself to you, to, you, to heart, to, heart and to hold, to, hold to, heart, to, love, to love, to love you, to love and, you, to be your lawful, uh, lawfully wedded and to be your lovefully wedded husband. In every season, in every season phase, phase, and, stage of, and stage of our lives, from this moment forward. From this moment, forward. We shall be one. We shall be one.
Hawthorne. Hawthorne, as your husband, <laughs> submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your lives. I do, Amen. and I will. Amen. Then come to him to admit this profession of faith. I, Deborah. I, Deborah. Paul and Enche. Paul and According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself. Submit myself to you. To you. Be your lawfully wedded wife. To be your lawfully wedded wife. To have. To have. To and to hold. In every season. In every season. Phase. 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 And stage of our lives. And stage of our lives. From this moment forward. From this moment forward, we shall be one. We shall be one. Amen. Congratulations. Father, in Jesus' name, we declare a blessing upon his friends. And we decree that it's a point of contact with the endless love in Jesus' name. This ring, hold on. This ring stands as a symbol of marital identity. May this ring then link you to the covenant of blessings of holy matrimony. Now the groom, you will say this. This is a token of my love. This is a token of my love. And sign of the vows. And sign of the vows. We have made today. We have made today. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Now slip it in. The bride. This is a token of my love. This is a token of my love. And the sign of the vows. And the sign of the vows. That we have made today. That we have made today. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Now slip the ring into his finger. Give the Lord a clap offering. The pronouncement God's word declares who God had joined together let no man put asunder for as much as Uloko Sam Otin and Bebra Paul and Menche have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company and dear to have given and pledged their trust one to the other. Hallelujah. This 
church is coming to both the bride and the groom as i read God's word declares who God has joined together let no man put asunder for as much as local Sam Hawthorne and Deborah Paul and Nietzsche have consented together in holy wedlock and we have all witnessed the same before God and this wonderful company and they too have given the pledge and trust one to another I declare that they be man and wife in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So give the Lord a clap and a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me hug her. hallelujah and this charge goes to both the bride and groom as i read the scripture from the book of ephesians chapter 5 verses 22 all the way to 32 i want you both to pay very close attention to the words stated here they are god's word that the holy spirit will honor as we stand in them in faith the world has the idea that marriage is simply a legal contract we do not make light of that but at the same time it is a spiritual contract when the word of god between two born again believers is spoken the power of god goes into operation there is an actual miracle that takes place when the fate of these precious people is released in god's power god honors their faith and brings them into union together with these thoughts in our mind with these thoughts in mind listen very carefully to these words wives submit your your submit your husbands as to the lord for the husband is the head of the wife as christ is the head of the church his body of which is the savior now as the church submits to christ so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleaning her by the washing with water through the world and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless in this same way husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife love himself after all no one ever hated his own body but he feeds and cares for it just as Christ does the church for we are members of his body for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife and they too will become one flesh this is a profound mystery but i am talking about christ and the church let's celebrate god for this wonderful couple This is a charge to the congregation. Hallelujah. In the eyes of the Almighty God, these two precious people are washed by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They have prayed, and before the Lord God Himself, they believe with all their hearts that this is the perfect will of God for them. To be joined in marriage they have made their decision 
So from now until the end of this age, I charge you to do everything in your power to see that this union remains solid, strong, happy, and prosperous. And it will be so in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. It's time to sing. Hallelujah. It's time to serve the communion. It is important that in these first moments, together you honor the Lord as his tables. Jesus said, this is my body. Broken for you, eat of it. Can the communion stewards bring the communion close? The communion, please. The flesh and the blood. Give Jesus a hand while we wait for them. You won't blame them. They are busy arranging things and they forgot the communion. Is there now? Communion stewards in the church, just bring the communion closer. Move. Move. Praise the Lord. Today is your first day, just take the flesh. His precious body bore your sickness, take it. And carried away your disease, both of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Have the God given faith and power to ward off sickness, disease, the storms of life. And everything I held would offer any marriage. Through his broken body, you have reached into your life the awesome power of the Almighty God. At this point, take it and also take the blood. Jesus also said, This is my blood that ratifies the covenant. Drink of my blood, and as often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. With this, the Lord perfect order concerns you in Jesus' name. Give Jesus a big hand.
Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Presentation to the congregation. You may face the congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newly wedded couple. The latest couple in the universe. Barrister, Mr. and Barrister, Mrs. Uloko Sam and Deborah Paul and Nenche Hutton. Rise, let's give a shout of praise. If you are excited, hallelujah. Somebody give it up. Glory. Can we all stand up on our feet and give the Lord a praise? Give him a bigger, bigger, bigger clap and a louder shout of praise. Ideally, as the father of the bride, I am not meant to come out today at all. But I have to do this very important assignment. And that is to welcome our father in the Lord. Who came all the way from Lagos. He took the journey from, from 5 a.m. this morning to be able to be here at this time. Sir, we thank you for the sacrifice. We thank you for the sacrifice. Our mama is here as well. And we appreciate for the sacrifice. We shall now receive them up to release the parental blessing on the couple. Can we remain standing as to receive Papa and Mama to come up and release upon the couple the parental blessing? This is my season of embrace. I am lost in your love. Your mercy is a joy forever. cause men to prevail where others struggle. The blessings of their fathers have made you to prevail above the generations before you. That was the verdict on Joseph. He could not be destroyed because of the blessing. He could not be shot by Potiphar because of the blessing. He could not be depressed in the prison because of the blessing. He arrived in the palace because of the blessing by the blessings of today you shall prevail Amen. where others struggle. Amen. your generation don't have as much value for blessings but we in the before generation before you we know what it means it's a wet bitterly for the blessing nothing makes the journey of life simple and cheap than parental blessings received in faith. Therefore, today, we stand here to proclaim you blessed. Amen. Proclaim this union blessed. Amen. You shall be fruitful. Amen. Your marriage shall be peaceful. Amen. You shall raise great children. No devil shall come between you. Amen. You shall not know separation. Amen. You shall not smell divorce. Amen. This union you know, shall be an exemplary one. Amen. Others who desire to get this kind of marriage. Amen. 
you shall not disappoint any of us. Amen. You shall be a joy for life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This this you know is declared sickness free. Amen. Turbulence free. Amen. This you know is a moment to defeat. Amen. A moment to failure. Amen. You shall be laughing all the way through. Amen. The fountain of your joy will not run dry. Amen. You will not know tears. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When I began teaching on heat free marriage, people were laughing. Let's watch what will happen. They have watched it now for years. It hasn't changed a bit. I therefore decree heaven's verdict on heat free marriage on your union and so shall it be as hand is laid on you be blessed and be blessed in the name of jesus christ may everyone beholding this today go back home with this blessing may everyone on the line for marriage receive their miracle may every established home remain established May every joyful home remain ever joyful. May every challenged family receive a miracle today. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the same vein, I decree the parents blessed on both sides. It shall be joy and rejoicing forever. There shall be no concern over this marriage. But testimonies all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Let's give the Lord a big hand of praise. We praise your name, oh Lord. We give you all the praise. Yahweh. Oh, Lord of all praise. We praise your name, oh Lord. Give you all the praise. Yahweh. Oh, Lord of all praise. We praise your name, oh Lord. Give you all the praise. Yahweh. Oh, Lord of all praise. Hallelujah. Make some noise for Jesus. You can do better than that. Make some noise for Jesus. Hallelujah. Right about now, we're going to continue the celebration as the bride and the groom go to sign the register with the parents. We're going to continue in this atmosphere of praise and thanksgiving. So let's get ready to dance. I hope you're ready to dance this morning. I want to hear you. Are you ready to celebrate today? Hallelujah. Choir, please kick it off for us. Praise God. You've done so much for me.
Put your hands together for Jesus as we receive Dunamis Voice International. They are ministering one of the songs received and written by our Father and the Lord, Dr. Pastor Paul and Enche. Dunamis Voice International.
let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. To take us further, we'll be going into the session of the word. And we to bring us the word this morning is one of the sons of our father, grandfather in the faith. And we'll be welcoming Pastor Isaac Oyedepo to bring the word. Let's celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we please rise on our feet in just a moment to pray before receiving the word? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this amazing privilege and honor to be gathered, to be witnesses, eyewitnesses of your glory here today. Thank you for this holy matrimony that we are a part of. Holy Spirit, we ask that you speak to us for the few moments we have. Send light our way and let Jesus alone be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Let's give the Lord a big hand and please you may be seated praise the lord i said praise the lord i want to first and foremost give all glory to god for this awesome and amazing privilege not just here ministering but to be a part of this awesome ceremony my first time in the glory dome since it was dedicated and i want to deeply appreciate our father in the lord here pastor dr paul Eneche and dr mrs becky and nature for this awesome privilege i'm not sure i'm the best candidate but uh, god saw it deemed to give us the privilege i also want to appreciate all of our senior ministers in the gospel here i do not take it for granted there are anointings that are gathered here today and i thank god for that privilege i also want to appreciate very quickly all our excellencies uh, in the house our past president and all of our governors and representatives here we deeply honor and appreciate you today and we will not forget to give glory to god uh, for the latest couple in town mr and mrs sam and deborah oluko hathron i'm so grateful to the lord to be a part of this Today I'll be sharing very briefly on what has been captioned for the next few moments given to us. The beauty of marriage. The beauty of marriage. And I'll do this as quickly as possible because on wedding days, attention is not really there. We want to quickly look at the subject, the beauty of marriage. Everything God created and instituted according to his word is very good. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 31. The Bible says, And God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. Marriage is one of those things he instituted. So we can conclude that marriage is very good. I trust God that for the couple just newly wedded today, their marriage will be very good. But we also understand that when purpose meets with God's season and timing, then beauty is born. When purpose meets with God's timing and season, beauty is born. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. The Bible says to everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. Now if you jump to verse 11, it says he makes all things beautiful in his time. So when purpose meets with season and timing, beauty is born. That's why I do know that God has orchestrated this matrimony today for a beautiful marriage that will remain in the eyes of all and a role model for all in the name of Jesus. But experiencing the reality of the beauty of marriage is a function of the right investments into marriage. Our father in the Lord here, Pastor Dr. Paul in nature and his beloved wife, we see the beauty of marriage around them. But it is a function of the right investments placed into the marriage. My brother Sam and my sister Debbie, I want you to know that nothing beautiful appears on its own. 
Investment is required for it to become a reality. The institution of marriage was built on the investment platform. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24, Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall be joined to his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. That is investment there. They will have to leave. They will have to part. They have to leave to cleave so that the beauty of marriage is there for all. Now, there are, there are things here that we want to quickly note for the time that is given to us. As it is seen with the beauty of a natural house, so it is with the beauty of a spiritual home. I've come to realize that what we have gathered here today to do is to give the certificate of approval of the building. This is not the building. This is simply the, 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 the certificate given for the building to be built. This is where the work begins. Thank God for all the glamour of the wedding day. But the marriage begins after now. And I trust God that by these four nuggets that will be given to my brother and sister here and all those that are part of this, we will indeed build a beautiful home. In Jesus' mighty name. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 3 and 4. Through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established. Verse 4. It says, by knowledge, the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. In those two verses, we see four investments that are required for any and every home to end up as a beautiful one. You will agree with me that there is no beauty in the approval to build. The beauty comes after the investment has been put in. Completion is a function of investment. The beauty of the glory dome here is an investment from the foundation to the roofing, to the painting. Everything has a cost attached. So the first thing we see in verse 3 here is that investment must be done at the foundation level. There must be a conscious and consistent investment at the foundation of every building. And so it is also with a spiritual home. Psalms chapter 11 and verse 3. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Depending on how beautiful the building will be, the foundation will swallow a lot of investment. I know you can imagine the kind of investment that went into the foundation of a 100,000 seater dome. The foundation is many buildings put together in terms of the cost and resources so there must be investment at the foundation level and this means that the spiritual atmosphere spiritual climatic atmosphere of the house must be kept in order at all times because at the foundation of every house every spiritual building is spirituality i've come to realize that while we pray for one another as newlyweds and continuing all through your marriage as you have learned from your father and mother pastor dr paul in nature and his wife there is need to pray together there is need to spend time in prayer together not just prayer for one another but prayer together with one another because according to the word there is exponential growth exponential effect when prayers are prayed together never get too busy that time is no more invested in prayers together. And if you can, let this start from tonight. Let the atmosphere be set from the very beginning. In fact, I'm here to announce that it's important to already create a structure before the children arrive. Let them meet a praying father and a praying mother before their birth. The foundation is very key and important. Number two very very key is investment in the structural level we've talked about investment at the foundational level now we are talking about investment at the structural level if you go back to verse 3 of proverbs chapter 24 the word says through wisdom is a house built so now the foundation has been taken care of the next thing is raising the structure this talks about investment in knowledge. The first one is investment in spirituality. The second one is investment in knowledge. In knowledge. Investment in knowledge. Because common sense will only give common results. 
if you enter into the marriage and not grow in knowledge on what it takes to beautify your home then you will not be able to enjoy the beauty of marriage common sense gives common result there must be investment in knowledge we have perfect examples before us our parents that have lived exemplary married lives we can take from that we can look for anointed books on the subject of marriage it's important that we do not flow with the wisdom of this age that says anything is possible that anything can happen but we go to the world we go to knowledge from the world and from proven authors that have enjoyed peace and serenity in their homes for instance i heard we read today ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 32. we see there among other things that the husband ought to love the wife as christ loved the church as simple as that is it is very deep love your wife as christ loved the church the question then is how does christ love the church you and i are an example of the church investment in the right kind of knowledge is very important it also goes on to say that wives submit to your husbands as unto the lord so we must dig into these realities build our knowledge based on what it takes to have a peaceful and successful home if god has done it for some people 50 years 70 years 40 years 30 years today may be your day one but very soon we'll celebrate 10 years we'll celebrate 20 years we'll celebrate 30 years we'll celebrate 50 years in the name of jesus so beyond investing in the foundation we must invest in the structure number three investment very important that we must take note of us today is investment at the roofing level i wasn't here while this was roofed but i can only imagine the kind of investment that went to the roof you don't build a great dome and leave it open it has to be closed the roofing level and this talks about intimacy investment in intimacy this talks about investment in intimacy verse 4 of proverbs chapter 24 he said through knowledge shall the chambers be filled through knowledge the chamber is the place of secrecy the place of intimacy the place of knowledge of one another it's one thing to have knowledge of what god's word says it's another thing to have knowledge of one another your uniqueness it's a very very important we see here that true intimacy will take knowledge and knowledge takes time and time is costly so brother sam sister debbie my beloved brother and sister take time investing in your intimacy you say you have to leave to cleave now that you are together spend time to begin to understand one another understand what you stand for understand how it goes with you how you reason how you think this is very key and important brother sam this is to you we are to dwell with caution and with care sister debbie here today is not your property she's your responsibility there is a wide difference the bible says in first peter chapter 3 verse 7 dwell according to knowledge dwell according to knowledge dwell according to knowledge this is very important that you go home with this today the knowledge of one another is key but now you are you came in here and said i do now you are going home to take the responsibility of the one who does and i pray that god's help shall be made available to both of you in jesus name finally number four investment at the furnishing and finishing level everyone knows thank god for the investment at the foundation thank god for the investment of the structure thank god for the roofing but no beautiful home ends there it moves from the foundation to the structure from the structure to the roofing from the roofing to the furnishing if you want to furnish your home it is oftentimes more expensive than what it costs to build it furnishing the home we find this in proverbs chapter 24 verse 4 we've just looked at verse 3 and 4 but if you look at verse 4 proverbs chapter 24 verse 4 it says by knowledge the rooms are filled with precious and pleasant riches this is key that we do not just end at the roofing 
but we go on to understand that many homes that were once beautiful have lost their beauty because of substandard and outdated furnishing and finishing first timothy chapter 5 verse 8 the word says he that provides not for his own house especially those of his own household has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever this is where finances now come in this is key because no matter how much a woman earns she wants something flowing from the husband on a regular basis am i right about that this is very key so we do not end with spirituality we do not graduate to knowledge and then from knowledge we don't just go to intimacy now finances come in because where there is real romance it is because there is also finance there must be a balance of all this together spirituality is not an excuse for lack of responsibility usual provisions on a monthly basis looking at your financial future planning it not just spending it because you can spend your future or you can invest your future financially one of the things i've learned many years ago is that no matter what your parents have your father your mother truly blessed of god it doesn't belong to you now is where the real journey begins where you have to begin to build block upon block upon block planning before the the children come because i'm sure very shortly we are here again to celebrate so there must be adequate plan unlike we have seen with many you can't claim that your wife gave birth in emergency there was a nine months notice month one month two month three month four month five month six month seven by month nine there should be no need for sweating because a lot should have gone in to the investment my prayer here today is that with these four very key investments to building a beautiful marriage and a beautiful home that we will never sorrow over this marriage today we would only continue to celebrate in the name of jesus christ what are we saying in essence god's grace that has helped all of our fathers in the faith and has given them beautiful and envious marriages that same grace is available in the house today brother sam sister debbie that grace will help you in jesus precious name can i hear the loudest amen this is the short charge that god has given us to give today and i trust god that the best is yet to come in jesus precious name let's give the lord a big hand of praise amen and amen and amen please can we just celebrate god almighty for that wonderful word that our brother just brought to us um even we that will be celebrating 11 years of marriage even though it's short compared to many these are words that would um, be framed in our house from now on on how to build a successful marriage and may god hear all our cries and our prayers in jesus name um, congratulations to my brother and my sister god bless you and to the fathers and the faith that are in house thank you for showing us the way and allowing us to follow you without any stress and the power in the anointing and the mantle that you've given unto us god would help us to turn it into an agbada instead of uh, a waistcoat suit in jesus name we will now be taking the aim um, we'll be taking the hymn and the choir will be leading us. Um, but before that, I bring greetings from Daddy and Mommy E. Adeboe. They couldn't be here. So they sent the miracle baby. So Sister Debbie and my brother Sam, you have the best of all the options all packed in one sent to you. Congratulations and we'll see you when your miracle baby comes in Jesus' name. The choir will be leading us in a hymn, To God Be the Glory. Um, shall we rise to be part of that wonderful hymn?
to God in Jesus precious mighty name just uh, just before I go um, as I know I need to hand over the mic there are many anointings in house here today from spiritual to financial to power I do not know what it is that you need as a Christmas gift from God Almighty so go ahead and ask God for just one thing tapping into the power that is in house the anointing that is in house the peace that is in house the joy and the rejoicing that we have in here today and ask that thing from God that before December 25th that God would answer you take advantage of this opportunity do not miss this timeline in Jesus mighty name we have prayed please let's take our seats can we celebrate God again with a big hand of praise God bless you. On behalf of our Father in the Lord and our Mother in the Lord, Dr. Paul and Dr. Mrs. Becky Enenche, we'd like to welcome everyone here today. We thank God you came and God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Um, I have a list here of um, dignitaries that have come to grace this occasion and Please, in case your name is not here, it's not because you are not important, but because of the brevity of time. On my list here, on behalf of our father, I want to welcome again our grandfather in faith, Dr. David Oyedepo, presiding Bishop Living Faith Church worldwide. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Also, Bishop David Abioye of the Living Faith Church. Can we celebrate God with a big hand of praise? Also here is His Eminence, Cardinal John Onaikan of the Catholic Church, Catholic Cardinal and Archbishop of Abuja. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Pastor E. E. Adeboye, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, ably represented by his son, Pastor Leke 
Adiboye that just left now. We have Evangelist Sunday Oguche of God's Care Mission, Opo in Kogi State, Nigeria. Give the Lord a big hand of her praise. Pastor Mrs. Sarah Omaku, Senior Pastor Family Worship Center here in Wuye, FCT Abuja. Engineer and Mrs. Lekan Adebiyi, can we celebrate God for him with a big hand of praise? Reverend Williams Okoye, the General Overseer of All Christian Fellowship Mission Church. Bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. We have our own um, um, very close uh, friend to our senior daddy, our pastor, Pastor David Ibiomet of the Salvation Ministries. Uh, welcome, sir. Prophet Isa El Buba, President El Buba Outreach Ministry, Josh Beltu State. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. We have um, General Yakubu Gawan, GCFR, former head of state, Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the convener of Nigeria Praise, represented by Evangelist Dr. Austin Keme. Can we give the Lord a big hand of praise? Prophet Emmanuel Kure, President Throne Room Trust Ministries, Kafanchan in Kaduna State, Nigeria. Can we celebrate God with a big hand of praise? His Excellency Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR, Immediate Past President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. Welcome, sir. On behalf of God's servant, we welcome you. His Excellency Professor Yemi Osimbanjo, San GCON, Vice President, Federal Republic of Nigeria, Aso Villa, represented by Aso Villa Chaplain Pastor Sheyi Malovo. Can we celebrate God with a big hand of praise? His Excellency, Mrs. Her Excellency, I beg your pardon, Mrs. Dolapo Osimbanjo, wife of the Vice President, give the Lord a big hand of praise. His Excellency Deacon Odom G. Emmanuel, Executive Governor of Akwai Bum State. Bigger hand for Jesus. Also here this morning is His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, former Governor, Anambara State and Presidential Candidate of the Labour Party. Bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. We have also here Professor Jerry Ghana former minister of information federal republic of nigeria mr stephen or ransom cfr former head of staffs of the federal republic of nigeria celebrate god with a big hand of praise honorable moses enenche senior special assistant to the governor of benway state on governmental and chieftaincy affairs bigger hand for jesus we have um Professor John Kennedy. Can we celebrate God with a big hand? Professor and Mrs. John Ibu, grandparents of the bride. Can we celebrate God with a big hand of praise? We have um, the president of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, ably represented by his son, Reverend Nick Chakwera, who is here accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Rudo Chakwera. Bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. Dr. Patrick Seidu Conte, Senior Economic, Dipl Economic Policy Ad Advisor to the Government of Liberia and former Governor Central Bank of, Liberia, of Syria Loan and Minister of State Fiscal Affairs. Bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. We have Reverend John Fodjo, Deputy Minister of Education, Ghana, ably represented by Bishop and Mrs. Joseph Asari. Bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. We have um, Right Honorable Yakubu Dugara, former Speaker of the House of Representatives, Engineer Benson. Abuno, Deputy Governor of Benue State, bigger, bigger hand for Jesus. Pastor Joseph M. Unwunuji, representing the Governor of Taraba State, Governor Dairos Ishaku. Can you celebrate God 
with a big hand of praise. We have also His Excellency, the Governor of Benue State, Governor Otom. Can we give the Lord a big, big hand of praise? Also here this morning is um, Pastor Matthew Ashimolowo, ably represented by his son, Pastor Toby Ashimolowo, and they are here to give God the praise and thank God for what God is doing here this morning. Hallelujah. Also, we have Mrs. Maria Jane. Can you celebrate God with a big hand of praise? She's the ambassador of Burundi to Nigeria. Justice Adam Onum retired. Can you celebrate God again with bigger hand? Reverend Canon Samuel Udenyi. We have Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Duru Aino. We have Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Joshua Omada. We have Pastor Nick and Mrs. Rudu. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Someone say a loud Amen. I believe that somebody here is already celebrating and these celebrations will go on with you in Jesus name please um, the uh, former president good luck a Billy Jonathan has a goodwill message and um, he will have the opportunity to speak with us can we celebrate God with a big hand as he comes Thank you so much. Please be seated. Please be seated. Uh, uh, since our names have already been mentioned, I wouldn't bore you with uh, going through lengthy protocols. But as a ritual, uh, let me appreciate the presence of uh, former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi. the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. Let me also appreciate the presence of uh, Governor Samuel Otom and of uh, Benton State and Odom Emmanuel for Akwai State. The Deputy Governors of uh, Benton State and Bielsa State are here with us. Thank you so much. And let me really, really come to the people who own this ceremony. First, let me appreciate the Catholic Archbishop Emeritus of Abuja, His Eminence John Cardinal Onaikon, for being here with us. And my father, Bishop David Oedekwo. General Overseer of Living Faith and Mama Yedeko, thank you for being here. We have so many General Overseers here, powerful men of God and women, that I don't need to go through the names again. You've all had their names. But let me appreciate those who brought us here Pastor Dr. Paul Nenche. And Pastor Mrs. Becky and then she. Whenever I see this couple, I always admire them. Two medical doctors that drop the syringe, the pills, the stethoscopes, and so on, and pick the Bible, not to heal only our body, but also to heal our soul. We thank you for the good work you have been doing, my brothers and sisters. The goodwill message is nothing very special. Having listened to the pastoral blessings and the ministration, the pastoral blessing by our father, Bishop Oedekwo, and the ministration by Oedekwo Jr., and the other speeches made here, I don't think we really need to add. 
but just to join the congregation, maybe to speak on behalf of the congregation, to thank God for today, that our daughter, Deborah, and Sam, have been brought together in a very powerful holy matrimony. We thank you, and we join the men of God who have blessed you to pray that your marriage will succeed. I thank you all. Can we make that hand clap bigger for Jesus? Please, you may be seated. Um, we have very large crowds here, and it will be impossible for this crowd to be in one venue for the reception. And so there are various places that have been created so that everybody can be hosted very, very well. And so it will be as follows. The gold maque will be in the garden. It's for senior pastors and ministers and special guests with their invitee, with, with, their, with, their, with people that came with them. And then we have the ruby maque also at the garden it's for invited guests with the red access card red access card ruby mcqueen we have the emerald mcqueen it's also at the garden adc's attaches police and other accompanying people that came with the vips we have the sapphire um, re reception for all our very wonderful church members can we celebrate god with a big hand of praise It, it will be at the, at the joy uh, here at the, at the entrance of the glory gate. And then we have the diamond hall um, for Dunamis pastors and staff it's at the event center. Can we give the Lord a big hand of praise? This is how the reception will go. Please ensure you comply and the Lord will bless you in Jesus name. We will also oblige the, the bridegroom to move out before we go so we allow them move out first before we go please can we all rise up on our faith choir recession home.
great event in prayers. Wherever you are, let us honor God. Please be still and let us respect the Almighty God. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this day because the day you have made. Thank you for the success of this program. Lord, as we go, go with us. Let the remaining hours of this day and the remaining aspect of the program be blessed. Let everyone that have traveled from far and near get back to their destination safely. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And let everyone shout the loudest, Amen.